So this is the valve that should be in the equipment, the uh, 5Z4G, and um, I've got uh, uh, the data sheet for the valve that should be in there and the valve that is actually in here. And uh, the difference is, I don't think I can get both pages under there. Well, um, they're both good for uh, 1400 volts uh, the filament is 5 volts in both cases and the filament current is 2 amps uh, in both cases and uh, the um, the valve that should be in there is good for 375 milliamps uh, maximum for each um, each uh, anode uh, 1.25 uh, amps maximum uh, that'll be uh, an inrush or surge um, and uh, on the valve that's actually in the, uh, the, the, the difference is that the current uh, is 400 milliamps for each anode so the valve that is in the 5Y 3GT uh, has more current carrying capability so that means that the valve is good so other than the uh, the little phase splitter valve which I can't uh, identify because of the markings um, are uh, not at all distinguishable and I've tried all of the tricks and I know and I can't I just can't see so I'm going to risk uh, running it with that because uh, I believe it uh, it probably is the right valve but uh, anyway, I'm glad about that. As I said in an earlier video, I've got this uh, circuit diagram uh, with the radio, and um, it's quite clearly marked uh, there as um, circuit diagram for the 680X receiver. And uh, this is the area that I'm working in. I'm just uh, considering at the moment uh, this choke has um, burnt out or in, and is, in fact is missing pity I haven't got it because I could have repaired it if I'd got it but uh, it's missing completely um, but it turns out this circuit diagram there are differences uh, on here it shows uh, two fuses um, on the mains so uh, light and neutral are fused whereas in the radio it only has one fuse and uh, S15 is uh, shown as the main switch as a single pole switch and in the radio it's a double pole switch um, only very minor things but you know it makes me think if I've got these differences what else is uh, that's uh, that's lurking um, and uh, the other thing is uh, this uh, C1 or CH1 sorry uh, when I look for that on the uh, the circuit uh, um, components list uh, down here, um, uh, it's simply not listed. So uh, the transformers um, uh, also aren't listed on here. So um, the the circuit diagram is is not complete. It uh, shows capacitors, or as it uh, says on here. Uh, um, condensers um, but uh, it uh, it doesn't and uh, resistors um, but uh, nothing on uh, transformers so I need to find uh, another source of information there before I get uh, too deep in hi again it's uh, another day and I'm uh, working through this Eddystone radio I'm not sure how practical it is to be able to carry on filming as it takes uh, such an age to uh, uh, to film things <laughs> and try and repair things. I, I know there's some folks out there that are finding it interesting, so I'll persevere as long as I can. But I uh, say, so, yeah, I don't know how long I can, I can keep this up because, simply because of the time. Okay, I've got um, uh, a, a little meter here, a low ohmic meter, and just check the battery there. And uh, now I'm going to check the uh, the resistance of the earth lead there and I uh, hope I'm getting that on the meter let's move the meter around I need three hands for this and I'm, I'm getting about 0.1 of an ohm there so I'm on the bottom scale so 
So about 0.1 round, and what I'm doing there is measuring the earth through to the uh, chassis. Um, so I hope I've caught that. I've got the camera up on the uh, table and it's uh, at about the level of my nose, which uh, makes it very inconvenient. So just so as you know where uh, we are and what we're looking at, this is the mains lead coming in there. As a fuse there, I say this radio has only got one fuse fitted, but the uh, the circuit diagram that I've got for it and components diagram shows a second fuse fitted just here. Um, so I guess a different serial number, and uh, that's the voltage stabilizer. Uh, that's the rectifier valve that we're looking down on there, and then uh, two capacitors, uh, the mains transformer here, which I'm just going to check out. Uh, this is where the choke uh, would be in the, these two holes that uh, are through the chassis there and the choke would have been the other side and I've just put a little terminal block on there and I shall be uh, connecting a choke in there uh, at the appropriate time um, and um, what I want to do is, is just uh, make sure that this transformer is okay uh, I'm just going to mega it out, so I'm just going to put a, a high voltage test on it. The checking of the earth wire was simply for my safety, so as I know when I uh, do plug this in, the chassis is earthed, um, so it doesn't suddenly become live. So I've got my uh, meter again, and uh, I, I always have a habit of uh, check the battery, so it's in the white there. And then now I'm going on to uh, the mega ohm range, so that's a high voltage range. I hope that light, you can never get the light right. Um, uh, and again, just so that, that the meter's doing what I expect it to do. And all I'm interested in now is uh, down here, it's marked input onto the transformer. Boy, I'm sorry, this is probably awful. I don't know if you're getting that. So that's uh, the input. So that's that's all I'm interested in at this stage. All I'm going to do is uh, check um, the, uh, the resistance from the um, primary of the transformer to ground uh, to, at 500 volts, and so just a, a pressure test, if you like. I just zoom out so you can see the meter. I really ought to get an, a, a crocodile clip on one of these leads, but uh, I haven't. So I've got um, the the one connection going to ground, and the other one on there. So. Uh, that's nearly a hundred meg and again just check the meter okay so the, there's no shorts um, to earth on the primary of the transformer so that's good okay now I'll bring in my uh, digital meter and uh, just check the zero So I've got zero ohms for short, and uh, I'm just going to check the primary. So that's a resistance of the primary winding of the mains transformer. So 14.1 ohms. So that's uh, that's not out of the way. That's good. And whilst I've got the meter, I just uh, check to earth, and uh, on this meter, of course, it says it's. Uh, uh, infinite uh, resistance. Uh, the other meter actually puts 500 volts on it and is a good pressure test. Um, so the other one I would trust, this one I would say uh, on that insulation uh, resistance, this one I'd say it's okay but the other one is a, is a proper test. Well I've about run out of time again um, it's quite a, a long-winded process talking you through uh, what I'm doing, but uh, hopefully it's uh, of interest. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.